Hello everyone, my name is Zach Moulter and I'll be talking to you about WikiLeaks. Uh, a little information about WikiLeaks, uh, it's an international uh, non-profit organization that publishes secret information, news leaks, and classified media through anonymous sources. A little bit of history, uh, it was started in 2006 by Sunshine Press, uh, it was created by Julian Assange, and it claims a database of about 10 million documents in the 10 years since it's been launched. Obviously that number has increased, but that was the last statistic I was able to find. Um, it was originally established as a wiki. Um, it is not related at all to Wikipedia, even though it kind of shares a similar name. Um, that being established as a wiki, it means that uh, it allowed many of its users to edit content, uh, create content, publish content, uh, but it was all done anonymously. Uh, this was terminated in 2010, so it still accepts anonymous uh, uh, tips and leaks. It just no longer uh, has that communal publication where anybody can edit anything. Um, According to WikiLeaks' own website, its goal is to bring important news and information to the public. Um, one of our most important activities is to publish original source material alongside our news stories so readers and historians alike can see evidence of the truth. Uh, also describes itself as an uncensorable system for untraceable mass document leaking. It only accepts documents that are of political, diplomatic, historical, or ethical interest. And until 2010, anyone could post, like I said, um, completely anonymously. Uh, and now submissions are reviewed by anonymous reviewers for WikiLeaks. Um, I'm going to go over a few high-profile leaks so that you can kind of understand exactly uh, what it is they try to focus on leaking. Uh, first. The first document ever uh, posted on WikiLeaks was the decision to assassinate government officials, and it was signed by the Sheikh Hassan Dahir Awais of Somalia. Uh, there was also a leak of video footage of 15 people, including two journalists, being shot dead by a U.S. Army helicopter gunman. Uh, the standard operating procedures for Camp Delta, which is Guantanamo Bay, uh, was leaked as well, uh, showing how uh, brutal the soldiers were with some of the prisoners, including that rewards would be giving prisoners uh, toilet paper. Uh, so they didn't normally even have toilet paper. Um, the secret Bibles of Scientology, showing how uh, some of the inner workings of Scientology was also leaked. Um, Hillary Clinton's emails pertaining to the war on Iraq were also a leak, uh, a leak through WikiLeaks, uh, as well as the uh, Australian internet proposed blacklist that they were trying to get past that would blacklist a bunch of unsafe and uh, lewd sites, and most of them uh, were actually censorship, um, so obviously that didn't go over too well with the public. Uh, emails by staff at the University of East Anglia Climate Research Unit were leaked, and that was showing emails detailing the concealing of background data, basically altering all the data on the studies they were doing uh, for global warming, trying to push their own agendas forward instead of giving actual scientific discovery. Um, Sarah Palin's email were hacked and posted, contacts and family photos, and uh, even a manual from the British military. This one's kind of interesting and humorous, the Defense Manual of Security, specifically detailing how to best avoid leaks, and it actually um, mentioned WikiLeaks in that manual. That was kind of funny. As far as financing, WikiLeaks uh, is a non-for-profit organization and it's funded mainly through uh, volunteers and donations. Um, and their lawyers often work uh, pro bono. Uh, some cases even uh, legal aid has been donated by other media organizations uh, such as the Associated Press. Um, they've got both uh, their share of praise and criticism. Uh, a lot more praise in the earlier years. Uh, they were commended for free speech, uh, increasing their transparency of uh, assisting in freedom of the press, all while challenging powerful institutions. Uh, they won several awards for being able to uh, expose many of these leaks. Uh, 
they even won the Economist's New Media Award in, I believe, 2008. Uh, several po politicians have flip-flopped on their stance on WikiLeaks based on um, what they have leaked recently. Uh, a lot of uh, conservative politicians are now very praising towards it after the Hillary Clinton leaks came to light. Um, there are some definite criticisms and even a little bit of conspiracy theories. Um, they're constantly cr criticized for being anti-Americanism, anti-Clinton, with a pro-Trump bias. Uh, there is a conspiracy that there is Russian influence, um, anti-Semitism, uh, misleading and exaggerating the description of leaks, uh, violations of personal privacy. There's many times where there's leaks that just show uh, countless regular civilians that shouldn't have their information leaked, but unfortunately they're a casualty of these leaks. And, and then there's a lack of transparency of how they've obtained all this. Um, there is a lawsuit going on. Uh, it's just started in 2018. The Democratic National Committee filed a lawsuit in federal district court in Manhattan against Russia, the Trump campaign, WikiLeaks, and Julian Assange, of, among others. Uh, those are the four major players. Uh, the lawsuit alleges there's conspiracy to disrupt the election in Donald Trump's favor. I'm sure we've all heard of this, or at least heard about it in passing. Um, basically, WikiLeaks says, as an accurate publisher of newsworthy information, WikiLeaks is constitutionally protected from such suits. The lawsuit's still, still pending, so we'll see how that all plays out in the future. Um, the legality of WikiLeaks is incredibly complex. Uh, it's a multinational organization that leaks all sorts of government information and all sorts of private information across many borders. Um, basically, uh, Assange considers WikiLeaks to be an intermediary, which allows him to, or allows others to anonymously uh, leak information that would normally cause them many problems or cause them many issues, and allows them to uh, leak that to avoid retribution. Um, they're headquartered in Sweden, where it has some of the world's strongest laws to predict confidential source journalist relationships. Um, and now there's potential criminal prosecution actually going on, too. The U.S. Justice Department began an investigation into WikiLeaks and Julian Assange after the leak of a classified diplomatic communication cable that had been sent to the U.S. State Department. Basically, uh, a bunch of different diplomats from all over the world had sent uh, information and analysis uh, to the U.S. State Department, and those communications were leaked. And those are supposed to be classified uh, documents. Um, after this happened, WikiLeaks basically was banished from America. Amazon uh, stopped allowing them to be hosted on their servers, so then WikiLeaks had to move to Europe. Also was just a massive amount of just cash flow was canceled. Uh, they stopped getting paid from most financial institutions, including PayPal, MasterCard, Visa, uh, there's a few Swiss, ba Swiss banks that stopped their payment and everything. Uh, just, just a lot. Uh, basically, in response to that, the hacktivist group Anonymous, that we've kind of talked about before, attacked several of those financial websites in retribution, essentially. And this is an ongoing thing that's kind of still happening today. And Julian Assange was also prosecuted. Uh, basically, the Swiss bank Post Finance announced it had frozen the assets of Julian Assange after all this started happening. An arrest warrant had been issued for him by Sweden. Um, this was actually related to allegations of sexual assault and rape, which was eventually dropped. Um, however, he breached bail and absconded, which ran away secretly, basically, and was granted asylum by the government of Ecuador. So despite all of those investigations being dropped, he still is in the embassy of Ecuador in London 
fearing that if he steps foot outside, he will be arrested for breaching bail or by another uh, another government and be extradited to the U.S. or even other governments that where he might be tried for, for his role in publishing all these documents. So basically, since 2011, he's been living in uh, asylum in the Embassy of Ecuador in London. Now, as far as ethics, uh, traditionally the press is asked to weigh the outcomes of what is being reported. Basically, is what is being reported worth, uh, is more ethically uh, positive towards the public than what could happen if it wasn't. And basically, WikiLeaks is trying to state that they're attempting to expose widespread government corruption. And they have done that, at least in part. The, the issue with them is they are not doing it as ethically as possible. They don't really factor in any of the damages to normal, uh, non-target people uh, if that are exposed in the leaks. There have been leaks where I think 79% of the voting population of females in Turkey, all of their address, their information is all out there available. For anyone that wants to go see it, exes, uh, stalkers, predators, anything like that can go find these ladies just because of WikiLeaks thought this was pertinent information to leak. Um, so they've done some good, but they've done a lot of harm as well. Um, I think they could definitely be more choosing in what they choose to leak, um, but, but that's just one example of many that are just very hazardous and sort of selfish just trying to leak as much information as possible without regards to anybody's safety uh, or, or personal uh, security or, or just privacy. So, in conclusion, uh, WikiLeaks is an organization dedicated to dispensing information to the public. That information usually is classified and they're trying to uh, expose government government wrongdoing and and they are doing that in a in a big way however they are also damaging a lot of uh, people that do not deserve that um, that damage coming their way uh, they legally operate in gray areas and they ethically operate in gray areas and basically my biggest question for them is who decides what is important for the public to know what needs to be secret to keep the public safe? Because they have not been great at towing that line in the past. Um, the normal citizens' privacy and safety is should also be a factor in these leaks, not just exposing government corruption. And that's my conclusion about WikiLeaks. Um, these are my works cited. One more, those three, and thank you very much. Have a great evening.